welcome to another Dollar Tree haul video. I'm going to try to project my voice as much as possible today. I have a lot of stuff going on in the background, um, cooking dinner and all that good stuff. So if you hear some noise in the background, I do apologize, but needs must. So let's continue on with the haul. So this is part two of a pretty large haul. And I'm just going to take it again in chunks. Um, I think that'll probably be a little bit easier, uh, easier to digest. Uh, I've tried to group things by like items. So hopefully I was successful in doing that. So I'm just going to start with, uh, you can see all the items here. They're kind of spilling out of the box. I'm going to start with two kitchen items. And they are these Sure Fresh sure fresh we'll get it out in a second professional containers and lids and I got two different sizes so I got this small size which is 6.75 cups so six and three-fourths of cups uh, or 54 fluid ounces or 600 mils whichever you prefer this is the smaller size and then I got the larger size which is about double essentially a little bit bigger than double actually but you know what I mean. Um, and I got these. I really like them. Um, I've seen other people who haul uh, from Dollar Tree get these and they really like them. I like them because they have those really nice lids and nice tight fitting um, containers. They, and they seem pretty sturdy. Like I, Obviously not then when I almost bent it. But they seem pretty sturdy. So I got two of those. Like I said the smaller size and the larger size. I really think this would be good for cereal. I tend to uh, mix cereal <laughs> types, so I take them out of their original packages and I need something to mix them in, so I think this will work perfect. Okay, these next items are all about bags and travel, I guess. That probably didn't make any sense, but um, this first item I got is just a luggage tag. I saw this and just thought that was so cute. I love elephants. Um, it's made out of like a of rubber I guess silicone maybe and all it, um, all it has is a little elephant in purple has the strap and then you just have the name and address tag here uh, when I went traveling recently I realized that we didn't have a luggage tag on our bag so I thought that would be great for us and then bag theme so I was trying to continue with um, they've had these bags out for a little bit now and I've actually like I said been hoarding them but they are these roll-up shopping bags and I am notoriously bad at having shopping bags in the car and forgetting them so I thought if I had something that I could just pop in my purse I would always have it and these are really good too they they also have like this long string so if you wanted you could just carry them all like this um, this is the flower design so I won't take it out for you this is what it looks like in its pouch almost looks like a strawberry um, shape um, but this is what it looks like hopefully it'll focus when you do roll it out and these are really super easy to put in and put out just for the sake of time I'm not going to do it for you today but that's the flower one and then probably my favorite is this ice cream one and it's just called ice cream if you look for it again it looks like this little ice cream cone and then when you roll it out, it looks like this. So hopefully that's focusing. I need a camera with a viewfinder. So <laughs> if, I, if I'm completely out of focus, it's not because I'm crazy. Um, but again, really like that one. And then this one is diamond, I believe. Let me make sure. Diamonds, sorry. Um, and this is what it looks like. And kind of like a diamond shape in the bag itself so like I said really cute looking forward to using these all summer I think these would be really great too like if you go to the beach or the pool and you have dirty or wet things you could just pop them in one of these bags and then take them with you again I think these would be good for the same reason for travel like you could put your dirty clothes in one of these and just have that separate from your other bags now I got a lot well, I say a lot. What's a lot? Um, and I think I have a clip of it um, 
they were really big on their band-aids and I'm talking like name brand character band-aids um, and I am notoriously bad for needing band-aids and not having one so I thought I would go ahead and stock up just today I needed one didn't have one so I got this one this is the curate curate I guess that's how you say it these are large plastic bandages uh, you get 10 of them in a package that was 10 for a dollar and I thought these are really good these te I'll get it out in a second. These seem to seal really well for me. Um, and if you wonder what the extra large bandage, they're two inches by four inches. So I think that's a pretty good deal. Um, this will especially come in handy if you have like blisters on the back of your heels or something. It's probably what I'll be using it for the most. And then, like I said, they had a lot of their character band aids. I went with my favorites, which were Care Bears. And these are like old school Care Bears, um, which are my favorite. So that's what they look like. You get 20 of those, and those are the um, three quarters of an inch by three inches, so pretty standard size. And then they also had the Transformers Bumblebee. Now, what I've loved all the Transformers, yes, but Bumblebee, he's one of my favorites, so I went ahead and got him. And like I said, these are definitely going into my desk at work because that's where I need them the most. Um, seemingly random, I did pick up this applicator. It says it's a silicone mask. It's a silicone face mask applicator. And it was just a dollar. It's from Spa Scriptions. I guess that's how you say it. Um, I thought this would be really cool uh, just because when I do put on masks, like, you know how you can buy the, the mask in pots from like Lush or um, any kind of drugstore that they come in a pot as opposed to like an individual mask. Um, I don't usually like to dip my fingers in there multiple times just for hygienic purposes. Um, and so I thought maybe getting one of these would just help to do that. So sometimes they come with paddles or applicators I guess. Sometimes they don't. So I just went ahead and picked that up for a dollar. And then, I guess we'll stay with a face theme, if you will. Um, I found a bunch of these, so I'm just going to put them all up at once. I think that's right. Um, these are from the brand Max Factor. This is when you can see it's not turned. Um, I remember Max Factor makeup from way, way back in the day. I think my mom used Max Factor. But I think it's a pretty good drugstore brand, um, if I can remember correctly. And these are long-lasting lip tints, and I got the three shades that they had, uh, and you probably won't be able to tell, like, very well the, the differences, but this one's more of, like, a pink, this one's more of, like, a purple pink, that makes any sense, and then this one's more like a nude brown, I'll see if they actually have the, the numbers or something written on here, but I like a good lip tint because it stays on longer, obviously. Um, let's see. Okay, I can't see. It just has a number. These are manufactured by Procter & Gamble, if you're interested. Um, it just says this one is number 04. That's the lightest shade of pink. This one is 03. This is the pinky purple one. And this one is 10. This is the nude brown one. Uh, last but not least in the makeup realm or face realm, I wanted to try this. It's a soothing face I can't talk today. It's a soothing face primer from LA Colors. Um, and it tells you like the different types of primer you can had you can get in order to make your color correction. I got the green. It says the green neutralizes uh, redness and I tend to be more red than anything else so I thought I would get that and try it out um, it's a dollar so uh, if it doesn't work no biggie but um, I tend to find these are really good too like if you have a breakout and it's red but it's not like bad and wanting to pop um, you could just put some little uh, a little green um, color corrector over it and it really helps to cover it up so I'm gonna try it uh, if you're interested to know how it went just let me know in the comments below and I'll let you guys know so contending with like the face, head, hair <laughs> section of today's video, 
Um, I did pick up a couple of hair products. I guess that'll work. Um, I really love these. These are just very basic, but these basic plastic, um, or plastic, hello. They're like clear rubber bands. Um, I really like these, um, especially for summertime, like when you're trying to do something cute with like braids or, or something like that. These come in really handy. So the next two hair products are very similar, and I've seen other people haul them. I haven't seen anyone review them, but I'm sure they're out there. I don't watch every YouTube video out there. Um, but these are the Garnier Whole Blends Single Use Rinse Out Cream. So I got this one in, uh, I'm just going to call it brown for lack of a better term. It says it soothes and controls frizzy hair, which I definitely have. It says it's blended with coconut oil and cocoa butter extracts. So I'm going to definitely try that on my hair soon. And it comes with two rinse out masks. So two for a dollar. Pretty good. And then this one is um, the green one, for lack of a better term. And it replenishes moisture to dry hair. And it's blended with olive oil and olive leaf extracts. So pretty interested in trying those out, especially summertime. My hair tends to get a little fried. Um, mainly because it is super frizzy, you never know, going in and out of a pool, chlorine, um, just all that good stuff. And my, since my hair is light, it tends to get bleached out by the sun as well. So it always needs a little extra love during this time of year. So thought I'd pick these up and um, try them out, see how they work. So to round out this part two of the haul, I'm gonna make a confession. Uh, I went a little candle crazy, I guess you could say, <laughs> at the Dollar Tree. Um, in my defense for going candle crazy, mm, okay, I, I don't want to try to put this as nice as supposed to be can. Um, where I live doesn't have the most pleasant odors, um, and it's not necessarily just my apartment, um, as I maybe have mentioned in some of my videos I am renovating and remodeling or is that the same term? Renovating, redecorating, remodeling I'm sure those are all synonyms for the same thing um, anyway I'm doing that to my new condo and because I haven't been able to replace all the paint can't even talk replace, replace all the paint or all the carpet yet it still has some lingering odors from the previous tenant and so to combat that I have good smell and stuff in literally every corner so candles not excluded and second part of my defense Dollar Tree has been killing it on the candle game and I can't pass up some good smelling candles when they're a dollar because you could pay a lot of money for these elsewhere. And they come in such cute jars. I digress. Let's get on. Let me show you what I got. So, I'll start with the least exciting first. Then move up. And I say exciting. They're exciting for me. You do you. So, if you're from the south, you're going to know what a skeeter is. If you're not, you may have heard of it. But, essentially, a skeeter is a mosquito. And... I and mosquitoes do not get along well, mainly because they like to bite me and I don't like it. So I have Centronella candles, candles burning throughout my house and it's probably a health hazard. I'm probably going to get something from it, but <laughs> I do it anyway. So they had a bunch of these uh, Skeeter beaters and I'm also going to put some of these outside too, so fear not, I shall be protected on my balcony. But I got three of these, so it doesn't really matter what color they are. They all smell like Centronella. But I did get a pink one, a blue one, and this beautiful green one. Green's my favorite. So they had them in this, which I'll just take one out so you can see it. I'm going to get the open, package opening. They had them in these types of containers, which are just this. I thought those were really pretty. I think those would be cute reusable ones. 
But then I also saw them in one store that I went to, um, and they had them in like one of those small mason jars. Um, I'll show you kind of in another candle. Uh, but if you know what I'm talking about, they're about the same size. They just have a lid. So I probably will go and get some of those too because summertime. I just saw a Skeeter go by. No joke. So one of these is getting ready to get lit. Next up on the same vein as the, uh, I told you about the Skeeter mason jars. They look very much like this. These are the old Williamsburg scented candles. Now I will say... These are hit or miss for me because they have, you'll find some candles and they have a really good, what is it word, pool, like cold, like without being lit. And then other times you smell them and you can't smell anything. And I ended up getting two of these for whatever reason. It does smell really good. It smells very summertime. This one is the Guava Coconut. I like the bright pink color as well. So I got two of the Guava Coconut, again, this is a collective haul, so this is multiple, multiple trips, and if you're like me, you forget what you buy, that happens to me all the time. I also got Citrus Sea Salt, this one's a little dented, uh, forgive me, it's a pretty orange color. These all smell very summery to me, so I thought that would be good, tis the season, you see my decor in the background. I just wanted to add something. That's not how it's going to stay, I promise. And then this one was probably my favorite, and it's going to seem a little weird, but it smells so good. This is the Mahogany Coconut. It's a white candle. And I can't describe what it smells like to you. Other than this fact, it smells like a really good-looking man went to the beach and had some coconut suntan lotion applied to him. That's what it smells like to me. And that's probably not a good description, but that's what this one smells like to me. Uh, I'm going to go with the loner candle. So I only found one candle like this, but it had such a pretty jar that I just had to get it. Now I don't know what I'll do with this container, but I'm going to use it somewhere. But it's just really pretty. It's almost like an aqua green, like, really beautiful, um, I don't even know. Like, this is like a raised design. Again, I can't describe things, but it smells really good. This one is citrus and pomegranate. And let's see. This is a green briar candle, so... But it just smells so, 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 so good. And it's so pretty. So, I'll put it somewhere. It will not be wasted. Speaking of foul-smelling odors, I had to run real quick. My food was burning for dinner. So, I will plug on through. Again, a loner, but one that I just thought I should probably try out. This is the Ambient Anthology Air Fresh. Scented candle. I'm trying to read it as I go. And it's compared to Glade Atmosphere Collection. This is number two, Escape. This is coconut and sandalwood. It smells really good to me. It smells very. suntan lotion, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, I've only seen these in a couple of stores, so hopefully if you're interested in this kind of candle, you will be able to find it in yours. I only found one in any of the stores I went to, but I thought I would check it out. This one has just a very plain container, but sometimes those are the best kind of containers, especially if you want to reuse them. So, looking forward to that one. And then I got a set three three sets of candles that are like candles. So I'll go with the prettiest ones or ones I think are some of the prettiest ones. So here's all three of them. Hopefully you can see them here. And I really like these. These are soy blend scented candles. Sorry, I got glitter everywhere. Um, the first one is Blue Lagoon. These are three ounces. 
And this is a Star Candle Co. Made in the USA. This one is the Blue Lagoon. It smells... Like very oceany, like water. <sighs> Again, not very good at descripting, describing things. But what you would imagine like beach water smells without like the stinky factor of like animals and refuse and whatnot. Not painting a beautiful picture, sorry. Um, and that one's a more of a blue, light blue color. And I really like these jars, and I actually picked up one of these for a friend as well, um, because they kind of look like a mermaid scales, so I thought those were cute. And then this one is Bonfire, no it's not, it's Beach Bonfire, and it's a little um, more of like a gray blue to me, maybe I just can't see it, but it still has the same design. And this one's probably my favorite, it smells very much like... Almost like a marshmallow bonfire cookout kind of smell. Like you're roasting marshmallows on a fire. That's what it smells like to me anyway. Check it out for yourself. And there's actually another one of these that I'm going to go back and get. But I didn't get it last trip. Because I did think, I thought that I had it, but I didn't. But there's another one of these, I think. So there should be a total set of four. If you know, down below, um... If I'm correct or not, you can go ahead and let me know. But I think it's something with salt, salty seas or something. So I'm definitely going to go back and try to find that one. And then last but not least, this one is Mermaid Reef. Reef, yeah. And it's kind of like a darker blue, gray. I don't know. I, it's really hard to see these two, and I'm not doing them justice. But this one, this one is hard. Because it's, I don't know, it's almost like a, I don't know, it's really hard. I don't know, it's almost like a sweet, a sweet smell, but it's not like a floral. I don't know, that this one's really hard, but I, I do like it, I do like the color. So, and these, I don't know about the throw. Thank you all so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this part two of the haul and hopefully I didn't bore you with all my candles but I'm telling you I'm so happy to get some candles and some sweet smells into my house you don't even know um, stay tuned I will hope to have I always say that I hope I will have uh, part three up soon and I'm going to try to curb my spending so that I don't keep adding to the pile and so yeah I don't want to keep adding to the pile so that we don't have a part four and five and six. I just got to cut it. So <laughs> with that, I will say goodbye and I will see you in the next video.